plan to fix the economy and restore us back to the growing economy as well. So I do hope that as we move into the sixth month and as we proceed to the second half eventually of the year, that things will get better for you, for your families, for your friends and for Ghana in general. But at least one thing I can say is that for a very long time we have been enjoying the peace in the country and that's a lot to thank God for looking at the crisis in Mali and other countries uh, that surround us as well. There is nothing that should take away our peace and for that we should be grateful. Let's be grateful for life as well. I mean not everybody made it to the month of May and not everybody may make it to the month of December in 2021 but at least since we have life there's so much to be grateful for. And so before you step out remember to say thank you to God and look forward to a great day and a great week as well. My name is Bella Mundi. Welcome back to another exciting week of TV3 New Day with myself Johnny and Cookie and well yes Cookie is off this week by the way just in case you're wondering she wasn't at work on Friday. She'll be back next week but Johnny and I will hold the fort until then and uh, I do hope that you still enjoy the show as we move along but a very worrying um, issue that has been going on for the last two weeks or so is is a strike by the Ghana uh, Medical Association of Laboratory Scientists. And it's very disturbing because a lot of people have been complaining that they are not getting the opportunity to have their uh, labs taken or the results uh, provided for them. At least the uh, Ghana Medical Association uh, Laboratory Scientists have said that if you already had your results waiting, then you get access to it. But anybody who was coming in to have their test taken for whatever medical reason, um, you know, could not be taken. And that's because they were not happy that at the Confuanoche Teaching Hospital, the management of the hospital had decided to put some two physicians, um, you know, in the place of, of management to lord over them, if I may use that word. And so they decided to embark on a one-week strike and then it extended and now we have a nationwide strike. And so let's just go back to a few of the issues that came up even before that statement that has been issued by the Ghana Medical Association who, um, you know, are in support of them and are saying, that we want our laboratory scientists to come back. Anybody who's been taken out of their position unfairly should be restored because we will not accept any lab results without the authorization of lab physicians. But again, uh, last week there was a conversation that was had and you know one of their leaders said that their strike was to protest the unlawful uh, imposition of doctors on them and so it's the former chairperson of the Ghana Medical Association uh, Ghana Association of Medical Laboratory Scientists Dr. Franklin Niamate and he was explaining why they had embarked on that strike and he said the imposition of the medical doctors on their leadership by the Ghana Medical Association is unwarranted, especially when they have PhD holders, consultants and professors in their union to competently lead the charge of their profession rather than imposing doctors who are not part of the union on them, which is why they embarked on that strike. Then the National Labor Commission also um, came out and issued a statement and said, end your strike. This was also sometime last week, and they were asking the striking lab scientists to bring an end to the action. So a statement signed by the executive secretary of the NLC, Mr. Ofosu Asamoah, said that the union should call off the ongoing strike and any further intended action immediately. And it said that their strike was an intervention um, in accordance with, or well, the statement said this intervention is in accordance with section 161 of the Labor Act 2003. Still, the lab scientists said, we're not coming back to work until you take those two people out of that position and allow us to lead ourselves. We have competent people. And so then the GMA issued a statement, and this came out yesterday. And they extended an olive branch. In other words, um, they are commiserating with the lab scientists, and they're saying that we support them, and we want anybody who's been taken out of their position unfairly to be restored. And so there's a statement that they issued, and I'll just go straight to it. Um, this was on May 30, 2021, which was yesterday. And it says, communique issued at the end of the third National Executive Council meeting of the Ghana Medical Association held at Eastern Premier Hotel, Koforidua Eastern Region. That was held from May 28 to 30, 2021. It says, the National Executive Council of GMA, having met and deliberated extensively on developments concerning the demands by the Ghana Association 
of medical lab scientists of Comfort Notch Teaching Hospital chapter to have two hematologists who are laboratory physicians removed from the laboratory and the practice of lab medicine generally in the country hereby states that follows and it gives a bit of a background historical background of the situation it says professionals with diverse backgrounds in medicine surgery nursing lab and diagnostics pharmacy and public health are required for holistic health delivery and with the increasing knowledge in medicine the practice of medicine has diversified over the years to include many subspecialties to provide comprehensive care to patients and lab physicians are medical doctors who have undergone specialist training in lab, laboratory medicine and pathology and are also known as pathologists or laboratory physicians and there are four kinds or disciplines of pathologists and these are the anatomic pathologists who most refer to as pathologists the hematologists the chemical pathologists and the medical microbiologists and they go on to give a lot of um, information about that but then they arrive at a decision and they have put that into a about five or six points and it says that the GMA therefore results as follows that all love physicians in bracket in bracket doctors who have been forced out of their places of work within the various hospital laboratories especially in Kolibu, Konfanoche and Cape Coast Teaching Hospital be restored with immediate effect to enable them practice their lawfully chosen profession or specialization and subspecialties. Two, all residents, medical doctors in training with the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons and West African Colleges of Physicians and Surgeons, especially those pursuing programs in laboratory medicine, should be granted unfettered or full access to all relevant lab spaces within the various teaching sites in Kolibu, Cape Coast and Konfanoche teaching hospitals, where these residents are currently not allowed to pursue their training by the Medical Lab Scientist Group and its members. And all other forms of threats, including but not limited to murder and bodily harm harassment, and assaults directed at these lab physician residents and specialties should cease forthwith. And it says the GMA takes a very serious view of these otherwise criminal activities at the workplace that are directed towards our members by the medical laboratory scientists. The Ministry of Health and the various hospital management should also ensure the swift prosecution of the perpetrators of these crimes. When push comes to shove, the GMA and its members may be forced to reject laboratory results without authorization by qualified laboratory physicians at a point in time. The GMA calls for a broader stakeholder consultation to look at the draft national laboratory policy and the future of the the medical profession is at a crossroad. The GMA calls on all its members to be resolute in our quest to ensure the sanity is restored on the practice of the noble medical profession, especially laboratory medicine in line with best practices. Then it says, um, the GMA reserves the right to respond appropriately if these negative and criminal tendencies by members of the medical laboratory scientists group and other allied health professionals continue at the workplace unchecked. And the GMA hereby serves notice that there are four listed resolutions, if not fully addressed by the Ministry of Health and its agencies, especially management of the various hospitals, will result in the GMA taking drastic measures that will definitely disturb the current seemingly industrial harmony and healthcare delivery throughout the country. This is a commitment that the GMA and its members will never waiver on. It's signed by the President, Dr. Frank Ancobia Esquire, and Dr. Justice Yangtze Esquire, who is the General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. My concern is that we get everybody back at work so that people who require, um, you know, lab tests and require their results will have it done on time. We cannot afford to lose people because of these issues. So I do hope that they resolve this. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, darling. How are you? I'm Not fine. bad. I'm fine, fine. Uh, I see you're fired up about this uh, conversation. Uh, I find it very worrying, mm. especially because there have been interviews that have been granted and a lot of these sick people are saying that I cannot afford to go to a private, private laboratory. Facility, yeah. Exactly. So I can get my results checked mm. or my mm. lab test taken. And so if that's the case and government or the laboratory scientists are saying we're on strike and so until you know, the GMA and government pay mm -hmm. heed to our call. We're not coming back to work. What happens to these people who cannot afford? I, I think that basically it's an administrative concern, an administrative thing. You know, there, there are two people at the Confinity Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. I started there and I yeah. followed closely because I had opportunity to be on the midday news on 3FM mm. and Hot Edition. So I, I followed through with the issues. We actually brought them into the studio as well at some point yeah. on TV3 on 3FM. So they're saying that we have people who are qualified, qualified to do the same kind of job. Mm -hmm. um, there are two people at the Confinity Teaching Hospital who are not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And they have actually also raised concerns about the fact that it looks like a ploy or a plan 
we start from the teaching hospitals. Nothing is said about it. We come to the regional hospitals. Nothing is said about it. We go to the district hospital. Nothing is said about it. And then it goes everywhere else. Mm. But their argument is that the laboratory scientists are that, look, we have people who are equally qualified. People yeah. who have done PhD in whatever mm. uh, discipline you are looking for. Why would you have to bring a medical doctor to come and sit at top of us when we have had people who have practiced all their lives as lab, lab scientists, they, they know about hemat hematology, hematology and yeah. they have been in, in and out of it. Mm -hmm. Would you, for example, take a lab scientist and make him the, the boss at a mm. hospital, for example? Yeah. And, and they also are raising questions about, for example, if you go to the Ghana Health Service, every single position there at the top, director position is held by a medical, medical doctor. doctor and they're yeah. asking themselves okay so if for example i'm a public health person and i have uh, i started off as a nurse and i've risen to the ranks i've done my mph mm -hmm. i've done my phd in public health as a nurse do i also not qualify to be for example a director of director. public health yeah. at the ghana health service mm -hmm. so they are asking legitimate questions the NLC is asking them to come to the table in accordance with labor law uh, at 651-2003, come and sit down. But they're saying that any time we have, we have been told to come and sit at the table and we relax the strike, we go and sit at the table, then it's forgotten. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. We pull and push, pull and push before you know it's forgotten. So mm -hmm. they're adamant. I have appealed to them to consider the lives that, that have been lost exactly. because this is an administrative matter. Mm -hmm. This is a political concern that they are raising. I mean, you may not see, pol and politics is not just NDC and MPP. Mm -hmm. This is a political concern that they are raising. Lives have been lost. People will be affected adversely. Yeah. You know, that will not be reported. But it's important that there's the assurance of a career path and a career progression for somebody who is beginning today as a lab scientist, what prospects are there are for there them for to them. rise to? As opposed to somebody who is also a medical doctor mm -hmm. and getting in knowing that, oh, the path is capped for me. For the person coming up as a lab scientist, what is the path is for it? them yeah. that they would say at the end of 12, 15, 20 years of my practice, this is where I would be, mm -hmm. you know? So it, I think it's a legitimate concern. It is. And this is why I want the labor, uh, labor ministry to step mm -hmm. in this is where I want um, the health ministry to step in as well and not just ask them to go back to work. But while we're asking them to go back to work, we also Let's fix the things the that they are, they are talking about. It's important that we do. I do hope so. <clears throat> I do hope so, really, because this is, this is very disturbing, if you ask me. And very legitimate, legitimate concerns, like Johnny has said, um, you know, by the lab scientists as well. But my worry is the people who may lose their lives mm. because of this. So I do hope that they bring this to an end some way somehow and whatever it is that needs to be done to fix the mm. situation would be done it, it, it rests i think it rests with the honorable minister for health, health. and mm. mp for dorma central honorable kweku ajima menu good morning to you sir this matter has been going on for more than a week it doesn't look good on you it doesn't look good on your ministry it doesn't look good on the ghana health service you sit at the top you have the president's ear and you could just write a letter to say, take the two doctors who are there off. Because it started very little at the mm -hmm. Confidential Teaching Hospital. Now it spread all over the country. And I visited some hospitals over the weekend. Dela Michelle visited some hospitals as well. Ibrahim Abubakar, uh, Christopher Mwakun, all our reporters across the country have been visiting hospitals and the labs are shut. And even more frustrating is those who have come in, you know, the doctors have given them the reference sheet or referral sheet, and they have come in and they can't they find can't. the labs. And they can't afford the labs outside there. So, please, Honorable Kweku Ajima Menu, good morning to you, sir. This matter is on your table. This matter should be of great concern to you this morning. If Honorable is not watching the TV, please tell him that we are begging him to issue an administrative order to the boss at Confidential Teaching Hospital, when the two doctors go off, that's what the lab scientists are saying, when the two doctors go off, everybody else will go back to work. Think about the millions and thousands of lives that have been affected by this strike. Good morning, sir.